Hi guys, we're back again. So today I'm here once again with the lovely Kadana Fields, my acupuncturist, who is going to do some moxa. Um, if any of you don't know anything about moxa, I think it's like the greatest thing since sliced bread, but she's going to explain a little bit of it to you and show you that it's completely harmless and it works. So give us a little intro or synopsis of what okay. moxa is. Well first, moxa is short for moxa bustion. And moxibustion slash moxa is a heat therapy. It's a form of therapy that uses heat to stimulate the body. You can, you have a moxa stick, which can be used to warm a meridian. And this is really lovely in the winter time. When you're cold, you just want to warm the meridian. A lot of women enjoy warming their wombs before or after birth, or before, well, after birth, not during birth. Before and after the menses. So the stick is used sometimes. And then sometimes we use what we call a moxa cone. It goes directly on a point. Um, like I said, moxa is a, ther it's a heat therapy. It builds blood. It builds energy. And it really deeply warms. Like many times when I do moxa on someone, they're like, wow, I feel really warm deep inside. Like they can feel the warmth emanating, emanating from the point. So are we doing moxa sticks today? Or today we we're doing, doing the, the, cones? The, the, cone, the cones for you. Okay. So then we actually, I've chosen a point. I've gotten it ready. And we're going to do... An actual point on Heather to help continue to nourish her, just as well to nourish her mm -hmm. and help build her. Okay. Okay. So let me know what you're doing while you're doing it because right. I'm a little nervous. You're a little nervous. Okay. I'm a little nervous. So there's some balm on you to protect you from the heat and from your skin from the heat. So that's already on you. I'm gonna place the comb on the point. I'm going to use an incense stick to light the moxa cone. I think I forgot something. That will be my ashtray. I'm gonna grab that. So what happens is I explain that Heather and I have done moxa before. I'm going to light the cone and uh -huh. you let me know when you feel the heat. Okay. It's not a test of endurance. You're not trying to say, oh, I'm going to wait to the last minute because that's okay. when you're going to get burnt. You're just going right. to let me know I feel the heat. As and soon as I feel heat. And you feel the heat. Okay. okay? So I'm going to let you know when it's lit. It's lit. That's one. Very good. In the history of uh, acupuncture and moxibustion in China, there was a time where moxibustion was used much more than actual needles. It's lit. I feel it. It's warming up now. Now you feel it warming? Yeah. You like that uh -huh. feeling? It is a wonderful feeling to have like some deep warmth in the womb area. It's lit. I feel it. So how many of these do you typically do? Um, it changes for different points. Um, there's a chart that lets you know how many points to do, how many cones that are allowed. Some of them are 5 to 10 or 7 to 15. Okay. Today I'm doing 7 on you. Okay. And at this point. And we're at number 4. Or 3. 4. It's lit. Feel it. Now, would you do this every day on yourself, or would you switch it up and do it every other day? I wouldn't do it every day. I, I generally wouldn't tell someone to do it every day. It's a lit. And it really depends on you and what your situation is in your body, but generally not, not every day. Lit. So it's not burning or anything. I do feel it being really warm after a few seconds. And I feel like my stomach getting a little bit warm all over. It's lit.
I feel it. And as soon as I'm feeling like a little bit of the heat, I'm just letting her know and she's quickly just pulling it off. This is by far the one thing that most people love, I gotta say. People love matzo, I do too. Yeah. It's a great feeling inside and I, I think that it's so t deeply tonifying mm -hmm. that this helps the treatments to last, the moxa. Mm. It's lit. I'm gonna take that one off because even though Heather didn't feel that, it was getting close to her skin. Yeah, I think I'm getting used to the sensation. After the sensation, <laughs> I know, after the sensation, kind of get used to it, but I can see and see that. I'm gonna wipe the area. So, so that's it. that was a moxa treatment. And what I'm feeling right now is a lot of warmth in my stomach area, um, which felt a little bit cool when I first came in. Um, so it can help such a wide range of issues that you may have in your stomach area or your lower GI, or as Kidada said, just overall tonifying to your entire system, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a great point. I love it. Between moxa and acupuncture, I, I love them both. I would suggest that all of you just give it a try. Try it. Kidad is here, Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. She practices. She's wonderful. Give it a try. Thank you for coming or having me come in today to You're greet welcome. you. Thank, Thank you, guys. You.